Well, hello there, it's Ina here and welcome to my art room. Now, if you are familiar with my videos, then you know that I love to alter things. I have been looking for one of those old vintage metal toy trucks, but they're hard to come by. So I am thinking to try my hand on this simple plastic one. It used to belong to my grandson, but it's a bit broken. He doesn't play with it anymore, so now it's my turn. I start by making a roof and I use the lid of a headphone case and also some bits and pieces of cropped sticks. I find that the easiest way to cut these sticks is with a pair of pliers. I use my E6000 to glue everything down. Now in the beginning I pulled out some toy pieces from my stash, including this uh, green thing here. It has a nice texture and will make a great rooftop. Uh, but then I went back to my wooden sticks here and I laid them down to make this whole thing look a bit more square and a bit more rustic. Now the process of doing this is very very simple. So for this part and a couple of future parts I jumped ahead a little bit uh, but you're not missing anything. And here you can see what it looks like now. I also wanted to continue to cover pretty much the whole surface of the truck and so I will be covering the wood and everything else with a layer of cheesecloth. In order to work with this easily I use small pieces from the cloth and plenty of very simple school glue. I wrap it around all the edges and I also cover the bottom of the car. Once this step is completed I will then let it dry really well and it will harden and give me a really nice texture all over. As this is quite repetitious I will jump ahead a bit. This is how it ended up but yes I had a change of plan. I realized that this truck came apart and so I disassembled it and I was able to take the back off which was really not so much to my liking. Now I have a flat surface here to work on but of course I have to redo some of the steps. But this is the way it looks now. All the wood has gone back on. Uh, some of the cheesecloth was replaced and now I can go on with my next steps and from here on everything is going to be super simple for you to follow. Like always everything I will be using mediums and materials will be in the captions and I will talk to you in just a wee bit. Enjoy the music and the process.
truck is all done and I want to give you one more close-up look at all the details and also show you the things I added towards the end. So if you look through the screen you can see the silhouette of our driver and of course having him there gives the illusion that someone is driving this thing. I'm very happy that the book still looks like a book and that the original color of the pages fits well to the overall look of everything. So let's go to the front. I added two cabochons here. They are teal with a little marble look. I also added this silver charm of a crow skull and some tiny little silver stars that dangle down here. I also added a bit of the cheesecloth to those new wooden sticks here just to make it fit in better with the rest of the frame. I'm very happy with the way the screens came out. I think they give the truck a very interesting look and that black puffy paint really worked well to seal it up. So then on the side you have uh, all the details and yes I didn't completely cover it with little doodads like I so often do. I saved that for the top of the book. Uh, but I wanted to try something a little different and I think between the wood and the cheesecloth I achieved a really fun texture. It just feels so nice and looks so grungy and old and uh, it gives a little bit the impression of spider webs here and there. I really really like it. And so I felt that it only needed a few uh, strategic strategically spaced and placed bits and pieces. So we have some chain here on the wheels and a few gears. Then here a little bit of my broken jewelry, again some wooden gears here. And yes the wheels turn, the truck drives and the top part here actually turns with a little noise. Fun. <laughs> here in the back I added two more cabochons, this time for taillights, and a tiny little boot that dangles underneath. And here on the book there's a charm of a corkscrew or wine bottle opener. And here underneath too it has nice texture from the uh, cheesecloth. So everything, every part of the plastic is pretty much uh, covered. So, and then that brings me to the book box here. Yes, here I added all kinds of little doodads, including a little handle here to open and close it. And of course the brooch of the leopard. I had taken it off uh, before spray painting it because underneath the filigree there's actually a mirror. And I don't know if the camera picks it up, but I can see myself in it. So I wanted to preserve it. And so I colored it very carefully not to mess up the mirror. And yes, I added a bit of teal here to bring this out a bit more. And there's a tiny bit of teal here and there, just on the book, not on the rest of the truck. And then of course, inside here is still the box. I didn't change it really because it's nice and clean, has a nice magnetic closure and can still be used as a box. So I think that's it for this truck. I really had a lot of fun putting it together and I'm glad I made the big change of taking off uh, that arm it had. It just wasn't uh, going my way. Uh, I like this a lot better. So I hope you liked today's video. This was my first process video for 2021. Hopefully we will have a very creative year. Now if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do a lot of assemblage work but also lots of other things and I like to present a variety of art and craft projects right here on my channel. I also host the monthly art challenge. The one for January is halfway through but you still have two more weeks to participate. If you are interested there will be a link below to the intro video. So let's see um, I think that's all I had for today I don't want to go too long thank you so much for coming I hope I see you soon again and you will tune into my channel I will be back latest next Friday Please stay safe, stay creative, leave me a comment, a thumbs up, subscribe, push the bell icon, all those things that make my channel grow. Alright, bye bye for now.